What's going on guys, Beastly Gamer here, welcome to the channel. VR seems to be taking over in 2016. This is the year of the introduction of the new. And so with things like the Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, and PlayStation VR all coming in 2016, a lot of people on the Xbox side are wondering what's happening with the HoloLens. And when we'll get a big announcement from Microsoft on when their flagship augmented reality headset is going to ship. Now, unfortunately, I got a little bit of news I want to share with you guys, and I'll drop a link in the description. HoloLens is not for gaming, says former Microsoft engineer. Due to many of the HoloLens demonstrations from Microsoft and talks of supporting the Xbox One, many have come to believe the device will support the gaming space in a big way. But it appears this is not the case, at least not at first. No doubt, the HoloLens augmented reality device has a lot of potential when it comes down to being a video game-centric machine. However, the games we have seen thus far are not interesting enough to warrant a huge marketing campaign that would be centered around that ability. Chances are, these games would not be successful on the Xbox One or even on Windows 10. And with Sony pushing hard for the PlayStation VR device, we don't see how the software giant can compete on the same level with the lackluster games shown running on the HoloLens. That's why we were not surprised when Michael Hoffman, a former principal engineer lead at Microsoft who worked on the HoloLens project said that the augmented reality device is not gaming focused. It's not even a device for the wide consumer market. So that's something many fans may want to think about. Hoffman said, quote, it's an enterprise device. There's clearly gaming potential there, but they don't want to put it out there as an Xbox One extension because then nobody will say, yes, we can use this in our conferences or our warehouses or our hospitals. It's wise to limit gaming early on. End quote. That's right, folks. Microsoft is focusing on the enterprise market early on. Then everything else should fall into place once that market has been conquered. It makes us wonder if HoloLens will ever support the current version of Xbox One. The head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, once talked about changing the way how new consoles are released. The question is, could HoloLens support an upgraded Xbox One? We believe that's the case, since the current console is lacking in power and might not be able to deliver quality HoloLens video games in ways Microsoft would want. So in short guys, if you have an Xbox One and you're looking forward to the HoloLens, you're going to keep waiting for quite a while. This is um, not the kind of device that we think of as gamers. This is not centered around the Xbox One. This is an enterprise device for things like hospital use, warehouses, and conference rooms. That's what they're using this thing for, which might be great applications for Microsoft. And so instead of focusing on gaming, they're focusing on more practical applications. And that might suck for only Xbox gamers, but there's tons of VR all around this year. I'm sure you'll be able to find it somewhere. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Should the HoloLens focus more on gaming, or do you think Microsoft is actually really smart to make this a more enterprise-friendly augmented reality device? Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, guys. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.